What's going on you guys? It's Randy with Full Throttle Obsessions. Today we got a Ryobi 18 volt cordless air compressor. I picked this air compressor up to do small tasks, inflating car tires and trailer tires. So we didn't have to turn on our big air compressor all the time and plus it's portable so we'll take it on the road with us. I ended up choosing the Ryobi over the DeWalt. The De DeWalt has a really nice cordless as well. I think the tank's three gallons and the Ryobi's a one gallon tank. For the simple fact is I have the Ryobi cordless shop vac and I have a ton of batteries for it. So I figured it was the easiest and cheapest way out to go with that Ryobi over the DeWalt. So we're gonna go ahead and get this out of the box, run the little break-in cycle on it, and give it a little test. We got the 41 Plymouth has a flat tire, so we'll be filling that up and see how it does. Let's go ahead and do it. Get our trusty utility knife. There we go. Pull it out of the box here. Pull the plastic on. All right, there we go. <clears throat> I didn't realize yesterday that it didn't come with an air hose, so I have to get an air hose to kind of use for right now. But I have to say. First thoughts, it it's, seems to be made fairly well. It's got a nice take on it. It's got a little quick disconnect fitting for your, for your air hose. <clears throat> Looks like it might have a regulator. Regulator, pressure gauge. For a tank and the outlet, all right. Now for break-in, the instruction says uh, before use, install a fully charged 4 amp hour battery pack, then run the air compressor at zero tank pressure with the drain valve fully open for 30 minutes or until the battery is completely discharged, whichever happens first. So we got a 4 amp hour pack. Right here, we'll go ahead and get it installed. Now we already opened the drain valve on the bottom of the tank. Now we'll just go ahead and flip it on. All right, the compressor just stopped on that four amp hour battery. We went 26 minutes, so we didn't quite make it to the 30 minute mark. But in the instructions, it says 30 minutes or until the end of that four amp hour battery, whatever, whichever comes first. So now we're gonna go ahead and let it cool down. Then our first test will be how fast it, it fills the one gallon storage tank. And then from there, how fast it's gonna air up our, our tire on the 41 Plymouth. So let's go ahead and do it. Now the reason why we picked up the Ryobi cordless compressor because I think it would be perfect for tires like the 41 Plymouth. As you can see that's the tire we're going to be airing up. I even think it would be good for the trailer tires. And the Jeep, the 36 is on the Jeep for when we're airing back up from coming off the trail from four wheeling. It should be good for tires like the, that's on the sand rail as well and the 35s. But of course it's not going to be good for those. <laughs> It won't be good for something like the 51 inch tractor tires. It's just too tall and too wide. Wouldn't be expecting the compressor to, to fill those very well. But for something smaller like the 35s, the Sandro tires, the 36s and trailer tires, I think this compressor would be perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and let it cool down and put it to the test. Now you do have a few different types of air fittings. As you can see, I got two right here. This one right here, the one that has the taller lip at the end, appears to be the correct fitting for the air compressor itself. So we're gonna go ahead and get this on the hose so we can do the test. It's been sitting for about 15 minutes or so, so we should be plenty cooled down. We're gonna be using this six amp hour battery pack. Put it in here. 
I got my stopwatch. So I'll go ahead and start the time when we click the compressor on. Let's go ahead and do it. We'll go ahead and stop that. All right, I got a minute 35. It's more like a minute and minute 30 because it took me a couple seconds to, to stop the stopwatch. Go ahead and reset that. Get the hose and we'll, we'll try it on the car. All right, so I found this cheap Harbor Freight hose that I had laying around. It's not the hose that I'm gonna really use with this compressor. I'm gonna get a smaller yellow hose. One of those kind of flexy, spongy, springy ones. But this one's going to have to do for now, so let's go ahead and get it hooked up. We'll Alright, right, so we'll put this fitting on. I'm sure this fitting leaks, so we're going to have to... Go a little quick here. I'm going to start the stopwatch. So what I did, I went ahead and stopped it at a minute 30. We're going to check the pressure. So a minute 30, it looks like we're at 25 pounds. This little valve don't work anymore on that, so I can't really show you guys. So we're going to put it on for probably like 30 more seconds. Probably what, a minute more, and we'll see what it get, what it goes to. So we stopped it at two and a half minutes. Go ahead and see the pressure we're at. 32 PSI at two and a half minutes on these Plymouth tires. I'm going to have to say that's not too bad. Let me grab my stopwatch. <clears throat> All right, I have to say two and a half minutes on that Plymouth tire was not too bad in my book. And when we restarted it after the first minute and a half, we started it right where we left off so we didn't fill the tank or nothing. And all in all, I'm going to say for the size of the compressor, that's not too bad. And I'm going to say having this compressor around is probably not a bad choice. But all right, I hope you guys liked the review. And as always, if you guys like my videos, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.